talk about a new law that kind of helps California homeowners here. We are, SB 458. Very exciting news for people in California. Don't misunderstand those of you that are not in California that uh, this does not necessarily apply to you, but the state of California has a new law. It does. SB 458. One of the things that was done is in California earlier this year, uh, SB 931 was passed. We don't want to get stuck in all of the all the SBs? Yeah, all the SBs. I would call them SB. I know you have. <laughs> Actually, not that long ago. I know. <laughs> the, uh, but what SB 931 did is it provided anti-deficiency protection for short sales, but it only dealt with the first mortgage. Right. So there was a lot of pressure put on the state legislature, including by the California Association of Realtors, on there needs to be some other form of protection uh, to cover the junior lien holders. And one of the biggest questions I've been getting from people is that, you know, if they're calling and they're thinking that, you know, a short sale might be there, they're saying, okay, we understand about this on the first, but are you telling me that years down the road, one of the junior lien holders could suddenly come and say, hey, we want to, uh, we want our money. And this SB 458 addresses that. Yeah, not only that, um, a lot of the gray area that, that we've had here across the country is what's the difference in deficiency of a foreclosure and a short sale? And up until not too long ago, um, you really had to weigh the options out for, for that home seller. Sometimes there really wasn't a great advantage of, right. of selling short. But now with SB 458, the new law that went into place July of 2011, states very clearly that if the lenders agree to, uh, to a short sale, that they consider the payment, uh, payment in full and fulfilled, that senior lien holders, junior lien holders, any lien holders whatsoever that are on that property, first mortgage, second mortgage, refinance, doesn't matter who it is anymore, in a short sale, not a foreclosure, in Correct. a short sale, all debt is then forgiven, meaning that they cannot pursue a deficiency. Exactly, and I mean, you know, the president of CAR basically summed it up. It basically states that SB 458 brings closure and certainty to the short sale process and ensures that once a lender has agreed to accept a short sale payment on a property, all lien holders, those in first and in junior positions, will consider the outstanding balance as paid in full and the homeowner will not be held responsible for any additional payments on the property. So for any of you out there that are contemplating a short sale or you're in the middle of a short sale now, that law went into effect on July 15th and was effective immediately. Immediately. So it's gonna affect any and all approval letters that come out. So if you're in the middle of a short sale now or you're contemplating one and a lender agrees to it, you're, you're done. You, you move on. You can get on with your life without the fear that someone's gonna come back on you. Right, totally different than foreclosure. Correct, and on foreclosure, you bring up a great point there because there's a lot of people out there, especially in California, where there's an assumption because California is a non-deficiency state right. that, oh, well, I may as well just strategically default. I may as well just walk away because no one can come after me. But that's not true. Yeah. That law is very restrictive and it applies to purchase money loans only. Only. Okay, now what's a purchase money loan? Well, it's the loan that you take when you actually buy the property. So what if I did a first and a second, but they were originated on the same day at the same time? Yeah, we're getting into some gray area, but it, it, it is considered purchase money. Still purchase money. Right. But if I refi the house to get a lower interest rate. Yeah, that's not purchase money. That's no longer purchase no. money. So now I'm li I could be liable in you, case of foreclosure. Absolutely could be liable. And if I took out a HELOC where I, I used my house as an ATM machine? Yeah, definitely not purchase money. Well, if it's an ATM machine, hopefully there's still some money in that ATM machine. I doubt that. Because then you have equity and not be in this position. Exactly. So the bottom line is in a foreclosure, if you go through that and you have refinanced the house where it was not the original loan that you used to purchase it, right. then you potentially have a liability there. Whereas now in the case of a short sale, just to make that completely clear, if a lender agrees to a short sale, you're done. You truly can walk away. There is no coming back at you yep. from a deficiency judgment standpoint. So those are huge steps forward, and I think they're going to uh, ease the process along on, uh, on potential short sales. Definitely. I, I, I'm seeing a lot more short sales becoming approved, a lot less um, foreclosure, depending on where the homeowner is at in, uh, in their lateness. In, in being late should, uh, is, what I, is what I'm trying to say. And which is another topic that we'll probably um, uh, do a video on. But the, the point of the matter is, is that 
the banks have come to realize that it is a win-win situation for both sides if they can come to an agreement on a short sale. Again, it's not a get out of your mortgage free card. Okay, so there has to be a need to sell and there has to be hardship. So, but just, just remember for right now, SB 458, the state of California, this is going to change the face of real estate. Yes, it is. Absolutely. All right, if you've got any questions, if there's any topics you'd like us to cover, you have any feedback, as always, visit us at s2neg.com and we'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by.